I think the major advantage that I found in my four and some years here now so far is really that um, you can't fly under the radar. You really, um, you're here, you're well supported, your staff know you and when you show up to work in the morning they know what to expect, they expect you to deliver and so I think it just offers a great training opportunity for all of us because we're well supported, we're well guided in what we need to do and our um, education is fantastic. What's appreciated now is that there's other competencies of a doctor that are, uh, if not just as important, almost as important. Uh, fundamental competencies like uh, their ability to communicate, their ability to advocate for patients, uh, their ability to manage a group of people, uh, their ability to function in a team. That's a fundamental change. We're trying to create a, if you will, more whole doctor, one who's more socially responsible, uh, one who understands that she or he is working uh, in the context of their specific environment rather than the very smart, very learned solo practitioner. First of all, your working community is very small, tight-knit. So when you consult somebody on the phone, you're often consulting a friend or someone you saw in the hallway. And that makes it a lot easier when you have to call somebody at 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, secondly, because it's such a small, tight-knit community, you make a lot of friends with the residents. Oftentimes, you're not just hanging out with your own group of residents in your program, but you mingle with residents from all kinds of programs. And I really like that collegiality and sense of community that we have here at Queen's. Queen's is probably one of the most beautiful campuses I've seen. It's, uh, it's a historic um, area and um, lots of beautiful buildings, lots of nice natural scenery around. The lake is, you know, right in our backyard. Very green and uh, it's just a pleasant place to be, especially in the summertime, and beautiful in the fall. There's, you know, great old limestone buildings and wonderful architecture here, um, but that's really balanced out well by the kind of modern feel and, and the production that's going on. I know the new School of Medicine building that's going to be a great advantage to the School of Medicine here. It's brand new and, and a great state-of-the-art facility, so it's a good combo of, of new and old. In terms of mentorship, I remember one time in particular when Dr. Radan, who's one of the arthroplasty surgeons here, uh, sort of came up to me out of the blue. I wasn't even on ortho at the moment. I was on a, an off-service rotation and said, uh, you know, are you interested in working on this research project with me? I got something that we can work through relatively quickly. So I said, absolutely, and we, we got this project done. And it, it turned out really well, actually, because we got um, an abstract and a poster together, got it submitted in relatively short order, and I actually got to go down and give a presentation on this project down in New Orleans, uh, which was a great experience for me, nice to present at an international conference. So I really appreciated that, because uh, it makes a big difference uh, to me, you know, another thing to add to my CV and a great personal experience. And again, I think it goes to show that when you're able to have that personal relationship with staff, when you, you know them and they know how well you work and what your interests are, it just really facilitates that kind of informal academic interaction which can lead to, to good things. Throughout my residency I've been really interested in molecular pathology which is sort of a new field and we don't traditionally have a lot of exposure to that so I approached my program director with this interest and uh, he was very supportive in connecting me with the molecular pathology diagnostic service and the director there has spent a lot of time with me over the years. We organized sort of one-on-one -on -one teaching sessions once a week for the last two or three years. And really that was just for my own personal interest that she took that time to do that for me. And I, I couldn't thank her enough that now that's the area that I'm going into. And it's certainly due to their support and mentorship that I've been able to pursue that career. I think in a way, uh, Queen's chose me. I was interviewing across Ontario for pediatric programs uh, as an international medical graduate and I was surprised at the different feel of the programs on my interviews. When I interviewed here, I noticed that above any of the other programs I'd been to, there was a camaraderie and a warmth amongst the residents and the faculty. I felt confident that this would be the entire package of a good residency training program for me. Residents might need a confidential place to discuss their issues or need some guidance about policies or options that they may have for a certain situation. 
but I also try to work uh, proactively with residents, doing education sessions in their resident teaching, going to meet with small groups one-on-one -on, -one on specific topics. So I think increasingly Queen's is emphasizing and taking a leadership role in resident education and physician health and wellness and really trying to make sure that the graduates of Queen's are, are ready to have sustainable careers and careers where they can balance as best they can the demands of a stressful medical life as well as a family and home life and all the things that they are passionate about outside of medicine. It's the perfect balance for me between big and small. It's big enough and modern enough. I mean, we're here in, in this um, simulation lab that literally opened uh, three months ago. You get a great experience here. So it's, it's big enough to give you all the things that you need. We're a regional trauma center. Um, we've got a great cardiovascular program, neurosurgical program. Really, the, all the components are here. But we're small enough that uh, as a resident, first of all, you actually get those patient interactions and you're not having to fight to compete, uh, but also it's, it's small enough that it's personal. So here in Belleville, um, I think we have a really, really great group and a really strong group of uh, faculty and preceptors that we work with. Um, I think part of what makes them so good at sort of facilitating our learning is really their openness to each individual resident. So being open to what that resident wants to get out of each experience. And also, you know, achieving a really good balance of service versus uh, education of residents. Good patient care is always first priority, but next to that is always our learning. 